A business in Bloomington just laid off 405 people as the drug and biomedical company meets the decreasing demand for supplies. Catalent is a major employer for the city and throughout the coronavirus pandemic, it produced vaccines. But now, right before Christmas, they're announcing layoffs. Fox 59's Courtney Crown spoke with an employee and his wife about the news of his termination. There had been rumors. About Andrew Sissel never thought his career at Bloomington's Catalan facility would end so soon. I started, uh, it was about 13 months ago. He was one of 405 employees the company terminated. A spokesperson for the company says Catalan added workers to meet the high demand of COVID-19 vaccine production. That demand has since dropped. Now the company is making cuts. The people that have been hired within the past year and a half or so all seem to be the ones that got let go. As Sissel waits for his severance package, his yeah, wife Amber I, offers know, support. She just started a new job. I know that we can get through it. It's just going to take some time and patience with ourselves and with our finances. Catalan is far from the only business that's trimming back its workforce. So many of the companies that many people relied on during the pandemic are making those same tough decisions. They're having to respond very, very quickly to the fact that our that households consumption habits over the last largely two years have just dramatically shifted twice. People did need services and goods at home, but now their habits trend closer to pre-pandemic times. DoorDash announced its termination of 1,250 employees. The New York Times announced Amazon would let go of about 10,000 workers. IU Assistant Professor Andrew Butters spoke generally about businesses' current battle. They're seeing uh, consumers slow down their spending a little bit. They're seeing um, you know, the demand for their goods and services to be less. Even as thousands of employees experience the heartbreak of a layoff, the pain still feels so personal. It just doesn't feel fair that people that were doing their jobs, going, getting to work on time, things like that, were the ones that were let go. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thank you. The mayor of Bloomington, the city's Economic Development Corporation, and the Chamber of Commerce have all publicly committed themselves to helping the Catalan employees. The chamber says the team can help connect workers to new opportunities using the skills that they already have. Employees are encouraged to prepare their resumes now. Matching a lot of those employees who are affected with other uh, chamber members who have a real need for talent. Right now, we've got a shortage of workforce in the Bloomington and Monroe County area. We have more jobs than we can possibly fill. Catalan continues to employ more than 3,000 people in Bloomington.